Hey guys, my name is Mackenzie. I'm here at Gunstock Ranch. This is the first part of our series for the All About Horses and Virtual Field Trip. Today my ass assistant is going to be Kip. So he's here to help me out and to let me show you guys a little bit more about horses, horse saddles, and grooming techniques. Is just a regular brush this can be used for their body for um, their head their legs um, anytime that they just need a good brush down make sure there's no dirt or dust or um, anything that could get under their saddle or irritate them as they're going for a ride this brush here this is called the curry comb so if you look at this these are actually uh, metal and it's pretty sharp, so this is actually a pretty strong brush here. So whenever we use a curry comb, we brush pretty soft. Um, you don't wanna push down really hard, and you don't really wanna do their face or their legs anywhere that's got a thinner skin. This one is our mane and tail brush. So it looks kinda like a comb we would use at home, which is exactly pretty much what it is. This is for his mane, or this hair here, and his tail. So it works just like any other comb. Um, it's for brushing out tangles, making sure they don't have any sticks. Um, it's just to make sure that their hair looks nice and pretty. One of the last important things we have here is called a hoof pick. And that is for our horse's feet or hooves. So when we have a horse getting ready to go for a ride, one of the most important things we have to do is make sure that they don't have any rocks or dirt or mud stuck in their feet. A few extra steps we'll be taking Today is actually gonna be called our fly spray. So this is exactly what it sounds like. It's meant to keep the flies off the horse. And then the other thing is sunblock. You guys probably recognize this. It's just a regular people sunblock. And you can use it on horses. So the thing that works for horses is zinc. So this is a zinc sunscreen. All right, so we're ready to groom our horse. I'm gonna start off on my regular brush and I'm just gonna go with the flow of his hair here. Some of the most important places to get are gonna be right here on his withers, which is like his shoulder blades. And that's to help uh, make sure there's nothing underneath the saddle when I put that on. And right here where the cinch is gonna sit. So I go in his armpit. All the dust. It's also a really good time to give your horse a full look over. Sometimes horses might get boo boos or scratches or a bite from another horse that you really don't see until you're brushing down um, and getting them ready to go for a ride. Um, so it's also just a way to check their temperament, see how they're feeling, um, and to really look at them, see how healthy they are, see that they're feeling good and they're ready to go for a ride. So now I can take my mane and tail comb and I'm just gonna run through his mane. I'm looking for any big tangles, making sure he doesn't have any big sticks, anything that could annoy him through the ride. All right, so now we're ready for the hook pick. So this is a pretty fun spot here. Um, it's definitely a very satisfying thing to do and it's very, very important. So what we're gonna do is run my hand down his leg. So this hand is supporting the weight of his foot and my dominant hand is what I use to pick everything out. So now that we know there's no big rocks or sticks or anything major, I can set his foot back down and go to the next one. Sunscreen. So 
So Kip here, so I'm gonna spray it right in my hand and then <laughs> rub it in on his little pink nose. All done. <laughs> and that's grooming our horse.